may your old life be crucified get at least one crucified you will not go back to that old life. I am not hearing somebody. You cannot live in Christ. And you are still going to society. You are still going to boyfriend. You are still going to alcohol. You are still going to old life. You must crucify your old life. Oh, two strong sisters, take one box each. Bring them for me. I need you to understand this. I need to understand. Okay. Another, please put it here for me. Put it here, side by side. One, side by side. Okay, another four sisters. Bring me four boxes. Let me use the strength of the sisters today. Four sisters. Bring me four boxes. Put this, put, put, put this one here. Put it here. Put it over here. Thank you. Turn them this way. Turn them this way. Okay. Four sisters. Bring your boxes here. Put them side by side like a dandy. Okay? Put them side by side. Okay. Then put this pant up. Put them pant up. Uh -huh. Okay. You can, no, 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 can you see? Put them pant up here. Pant up here. All right. Hello. Someone say run the race. So remember now, huh? We don't look at this word, race. No, just like a cause. All right? We'll come to the one later on. But this word race there means circumstances and things that are set before you. Someone say before you. Say different. All right. Is that Moses? Come here. Stand here. Stand here. Stand behind the box. Hello. All right. And uh, let me have. Let me have. Stamayama. Okay. You stand here. Please move his boxes back. Move, move him. Move him this way. Move him back a bit. Uh -huh. okay. Put that corner over this. Over there. Uh -huh. Okay, you slap your so. You slap your so. You face so. Turn so, turn so. Turn so. All right. Mr. Mason, you come stand here. You come stand here. Stand here. Someone say this. Okay? Now remember, it's, there is a besetting sin we want to stop you. Alright? For making you face your destiny. But also there is a battle to fight. A battle. Here, by the word race. And it says set before you, remember you are individuals. The stumbling block or the battle that this one has to fight is different from the one that this one has to fight. And different from the one that that one has to fight. Give me a microphone. One microphone. Okay. Just one, anyone. So, the objective of all of them is to reach this point. That is it. So some have to come from a long way off. Are you understanding me, somebody? Almost by you go now, also send them teach the Bible. Now you also them to teach the Bible. Almost by you go now, that also. From who is small? How many of them is your hand? Okay. So, hey. No. Almost by you, let me teach you Bible now, you also will be small. What? What? Can you imagine this? See the few hands that are up? I hope you have broken that and you are teaching your own children. Or you are now studying on your own. So now, let's put it this way. Mr. George, stand up. So your task of learning the Bible, almost by you come up from a pure Muslim background, where they don't be giving you a chance, you're going to go near God, you're going to pass receive Christ. Almost by you. Any of you? So stand up. Okay, you are closest to me, so stand up. So now watch this. So, your journey to learn God's word is different from our journey to learn God's word. Huh? Because there were scriptures and stories and parables that you already knew from a child. In your nothing. Alphatia, Suradem, Sarah. Are you understanding me, somebody? Are you getting the point? Now, it's not that you were born again necessarily. 
You are not. But your, at least your journey was closer because it was the Bible you were learning. Now you now say, hey, now be wrong interpretation, Nandi. Wrong interpretation. But at least you knew it. So like now say that was wrong. Now I don't know the correct thing. Just like all of you come on the Orthodox Church. Almost like come on the Orthodox Church. Rend your heart. Render your heart. Huh? And not your garments. And we'll quote it. Not so. Render your heart. Until one day I was reading the Bible and I saw rend. I said, eh? You know, say render. Oh. And so I discovered there's no render your heart in the Bible. Because that again that day, let me say, forgive God your heart. What does that the Bible say? They use the word again. What means share your heart in repentance? Don't be offering, asking for render. Give God your heart. I, I understand me somebody, but at least I've been sabi. So some of you not been sabi at all. But guess what? All of you are to reach the same objective of knowing Christ. So now the Bible says, hey, run the race with patience. So let's put this way now. All of you, now not pass around, jump put in front of you and come with me. Not pass around, though. No, no, my friend, also. no, 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 go back, go back. Go back. At the same time, do so. I don't say pass around. Claim over. My friend, that is all part of your stuff. That's all part of your battle. Climb over. So, go back. Go back. Go back. You see? Some say run the race with patience. But you, you, you try it. You must do it. You must climb over. So, one, two, three, go. Now, watch this. How do you do it? I didn't see you. Go do it again. <laughs> Are you, are you getting the point? Huh? It will take more energy. It will take more effort for you. So, let me, let me use a small child. Let me have three small boys. And what's your name? Wow. Okay, come. They were, it's as if they were waiting. Thank you. All of you go back. Thank you for bringing your children to church. So, you go behind that box, parents. You stand there. Um, Ephraim, what's your name again? Hmm? David, go behind there. Okay. You must climb over the box. Don't pass around, okay? Okay. So, are you ready? Okay, just take your time. and You must not go around. You must climb. Take your time and do it, okay? So, come over your box now. Come. Come. No, 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 no. Go back. You must jump over your box. Okay. Come on. Come now. Come. Jump over your box. You, come on, David. Come. No, 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 no. no. Go back to the tough one. Fires come, fires come. Fires come. Are you getting the point, somebody? It might take some extra stuff, but my friend, you must make sure you reach this thing. Are you understanding me, somebody? David, come, David, come. I'm waiting for you. It is even impossible what David is doing. That after the jump that one day, he gave a meet his other one back, which was this boy's only, only uh, challenge. He have been this no more. But he gave a jump that one day. We don't jump and don't ever come meet this one back. He has a higher mountain to climb. But the fact is this you must reach your point. Some are saying with patience. Some of you right now, part of your problem is that you're not even savvy for reading English. So for even reading the Bible, are you understanding me? Sorry. There are people who go learn for read for learn English, okay, adult education class, only for make them able for read the Bible. That was never the problem of most of you. Are you understanding me, somebody? Hello. Someone say, run the race. Overcome your obstacles. Fight your battles. But you must get to where you must get to. Oh, I'm not hearing you, somebody. For some of you, what God has called you to do is right here. You stay here. In Central Church, you do it. You understand? Easy to do. You don't need all this stuff. You just need for are you saying somebody? But some of you, what you have been assigned to do is outside. You have to go through the rain, go through the storm. You have to go to some other country, go through cultures. Look at me, somebody. Run your race with patience. I'm not hearing you, somebody. Run your race with patience. Run it. Run it. Amen. Thank you. Someone say battle. 
So race in this verse focuses on the battle and the fight that is set before you. There's a battle and a fight that is set before you. Oh, I'm not hearing you, somebody. Mm. Look at me. In my experience in life, and those people, I realize. I used to think that people had the same level of temptation towards sin. No, it's not the same. It is not the same level of temptation. Whether by whatever demonic bondage they were exposed to, whatever books or materials they may read when small or films they watch, I understand me somebody, the bondage is not the same. The level of temptation is not the same. Are you understanding me somebody? Oh... Do you know that people who were born in true riches, they don't get the same anchoring for money like the person born in poverty? People who are born, okay, well satisfied in life, they don't get the same anchoring for money like people who are born in poverty. People who are born in poverty, except God helps them or somebody helped them to learn contentment. But they always get anchoring extra for money. People who are born in riches, They, they dress a kind of way. You understand, right? They're simple. People who are born in poverty. You are make way you boss so. On man, they don't say, I don't boss. Are you understand me, somebody? Fighting to be seen. That person is born in the limelight. You know, you know, you know, you know what you depend. What's all this? Are you understanding me, somebody? You see, the temptations are different. But run your own race. Run it with patience. I don't care the battle you have to fight. Fight the battle. I am not hearing with somebody. For somebody, it's just easier for say, well, put, put one come up before me. Yeah. Put one come up before me. I mean, what does what it feel be? Okay. No, no, no. How, how many of you? It's, it's a tougher battle to resist Rome. You don't put up your hands. But there's some people. By what you're exposed to, whatever. For you say, put one come up before me. You pray, I counsel just name. Put that Romney come before me. There are others. Then they watch you. <laughs> what things what, what, what they do? Then they put the one before. And you're gone. For somebody else, like Jesus. Lord, help me. Lord, I must keep my testimony. Look at me, somebody. What one person is fighting from is different from what you are fighting from. Fight your own battle. Oh, I am not behind you, somebody. Fight your battle. Now, the word patience there, interestingly, verses run the race with what? Patience, that is what? Set before you. The word patience there comes from a Greek word which means cheerful endurance. Cheerful endurance. That means when you are going through what you are going through, others have little boxes to climb, but your own box is something else. You must still be cheerful in it. Cheerful endurance. You know what I can go through? All my say, I did go through battle in life. <laughs> if not, I did go through. <laughs> if not, I passed pass with my parents. <laughs> if you know, eh, this office where they work, now you don't know. You don't better. Me, they try to go through. Hey, me. Hmm. The woman was married. Yes, we have been at church. But look, but it, if the water, hey, what I discovered, hey, me. Now we're no more. But God, no, 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 no. Cheerful endurance. Cheerful endurance. Please wave to me, somebody. Wave to me. Let me tell you one reality in life. Let me tell you one reality in life. There are some people who have gotten into some marriages. Their marriage may never be a class A marriage. They may have to fight to the end. For the sake of the name of the Lord, you must fight to the end. Oh, you're not saying amen. You must fight to the end. Bible says, <laughs> with patience, cheerful endurance. And the word patience also means constancy. And cheerful constancy. That means no circumstance will change you. Give me away. There are workers today who are not here to serve. Circumstances have changed their commitment. 
have changed their availability. The word patience there means cheerful constancy. Come rain, come sunshine, come happiness, come transportation, no transportation, no whatever. It will not stop you. It will not stop you. It's easy for someone to say, Bishop, that because you get car. No, go back and check my track record. And you know that without car, I walked, I jog on the rain. At times I put me, me close, me church close inside, back. I wear other clothes for pile and for run on the rain. And when I reach, I change. I wear the clothes we are supposed to wear for service. So it's not a car that stopped me. I you been somebody or that made it possible for me to come. It is my commitment. It is my dedication that made it possible. Are you understanding me, somebody? Now, quickly, I introduce something and I will close. So, what is a race then? What is a race? First Corinthians 9, verse 24 to 20, 27. Read 24 and 25, verse 3. First Corinthians 9, verse 24 and 25. Is the word of God helping you today? I know they are you. The word of God help you? Amen. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all? But one receiveth the prize, mm -hmm. so run that ye may obtain. Okay. And every, 25. And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we are incorruptible. All right. So the word race in verse 24, take us back to, to verse 24. The word race in verse 24 is from the Greek word stadion, for which you have what? Stadium, all right, and then um, it means a measure of a distance. So, 100 meters, 5,000 meters, 10,000 meters, all right, a distance. It means a cause, a race cause from which you get to this course, okay. But it was race cause, the cause that a race takes. So, it says there, Know you not that they which run in a race course, all right, a distance. They all run, but only one receives the prize. So, there is a cause, there is a race that's been set before us, okay? The one in um, Hebrews 1, 12 verse 1, they talk about what in a battle, all right? The one here, they talk about what we know normally as a running race, all right? Uh, the one in Hebrews, they talk about a contest, a fight. The one that they talk about uh, going a distance, covering a distance. And the Bible says that we all they run a race, but not to all man they receive a prize. Are you seeing somebody? Not to all man they receive a prize. Now, to the most races, they will give up to for the man a prize. Not so? First, second, third. Okay? Gold, silver, bronze. All right? And so you're hopeful for get something. But listen, in this race of life, when you talk about run your race, they talk about all man gets in your own race. You are not running in my own cause. You are not running in my own race. My own race might be a hundred meters dash. Your own race might be what? A 5,000 meters dash. Oh, come on. Let's talk to somebody. Pastor, how old were you when you received Christ? About 18. Okay. Wow. It's no secret. It'll be 50 years next year. This year or next year? Next year. Be 50 years. Let's not hide it again. By next year, I'm not going to see you be 50. All right. Africans, we hide that age. No, so. Amen. This year, Pastor shall be 50. Amen. All right. Oh, Lord, help us. When we came to you, I know like that. Now, <laughs> all of us are looking at 50. Hello, 50. How are you, 50? Oh, Lord. And Lord, will keep us. One day, we'll be looking at 70. Also. We say Pastor shall be 70. If Christ tarries, 
70 this year. Must not be 70 next year. And also, if guys start, we talk about 90. <clears throat> hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, come on, let's talk some. Give God a clap of praise. So at least you serve God for about what? About 31 years now. Okay? So you and somebody who received Christ today, your journey is different. If Christ comes in the next one year, in the next six months, if Christ comes now, you find that somebody who received Christ now only had 60, and uh, what do you call it? Had only had one year, 12 months, or six months. But as for you, your journey started somewhere else. With to me, somebody, with to me, with to me. Someone say, the race. Now, but also race in terms of what God require of you for accomplish. The thing where God will require of Paul for accomplish, apparently it was not the same thing that God will require of some of the other apostles for accomplish. So the race is not just in terms of length of years, but what thing God expects you for accomplish. There is much that God expects you to accomplish. And your race is different from all others. From all others. Are you getting me somebody? So, let's change these boxes. Two brothers, come move these boxes quick for me. Put it here. Put it in the middle there. Put it there. Give me one of those your ropes, quickly. Ushers. Put it in the middle. Put it in the middle. Oh, on top, on top. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Remove that. Okay, remove the, the top one. Remove the top one. All right. Just do that side. Yeah. Okay. So, two ladies, come hold this on me. Hold this. Hold this, somebody. Hold this. Hold this. Hold this. You see, for some people, look at me, somebody. Their own race is a short race. It's a short race. Hey, hey what's your name? Well, that comes down here. Okay. The things that God requires, turn around. This is your finishing line. Okay? So the things that God requires of him to do, maybe for him, Christ only puts you, you understand, right? To serve as an intercessor. You understand? All your days of your life, you must be an intercessor for your bishop. Interceding for his life. Are you saying somebody? Now, for you, somebody else, come, come, come here. You stand here. For you, you are supposed to be an intercessor. And then you are supposed to plant churches in Japan, in Pakistan, and in Syria. Are you telling me somebody? So listen, all of you are working towards the end. But now you realize that if you should plant a church anywhere, you must be an intercessor. Him? He was not called to be an intercessor. He was just told, just go around with your bishop. That's your own job. Just be interceding for him. It's a heavy task. But it might be different from this one. Don't I have one more? Come. Come. I can come. So you, you have to plan these churches. And then, you are also to be an overseer. Over Asia. Over wherever. And then you have to plant these churches in Egypt. In Iraq. Are you hearing me, somebody? Where others are afraid to go to? In Sudan. In North Korea. May God send you there one day to go preach for him. Hello? Are you getting this? Hello? Look at me, somebody. Jump over your box. Please, don't. Don't try what he did if you don't know how to do it. Uh huh. Please, we permit you. Try that one. Thank you. All right. Uh -huh. Amen. All right. Now, watch this. Watch this. When he has gone through all of that, he still has what? All of this to do. He will not say, I have come, I have come, I have come, 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 jump this once, climb over, climb over, climb, climb, climb. Okay, just do it anyway. We are. Okay, and you say, ah, I don't come up far. I don't try. I can stop here. You cannot stop here. You must reach the finishing line. Wait, what's it? Are you hearing me, somebody? 
So now, here is this guy. This is all what he was given to do. Now, all of you cross over. Cross. And then you reach the finishing line. You cross. Cross. Look at me, somebody. Understand. Huh? Hey, understand this dangerous thing. If this brother finishes his own and gets here, and this brother gets here and says, I'm tired of running, and he starts to walk and enter. He might enter, but he might lose his crown. He was supposed to keep on running to the end. Are you understanding me, somebody? If he gets here and says, Ah, I don't walk, Boku. I don't walk, Boku. I'm tired. No. You are supposed to run and cross the line. Look at me, somebody. I'm saying to you, today, make up your mind that you are running a race. Sister, sister, are you getting this? This is not like a, 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 an amen, a bless you message that you can see there's no altar offering here today. Or there's one. Well, hear me, somebody. What am I saying to you? You must run the race. Oh, I'm not hearing you, somebody. You must finish the course that was set before you. I am not hearing you answer me. Run the race. So what is a race? It's a contest of speed. It's a contest of speed. It's not just walking as you feel like. But you must be running. So go back. Go back. Go back to your position. Go back. Runners, onto your marks. Get set. Go. Now go on. Go, 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 go. Go, go. Run, 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 run. Run, run. Someone say, patience. Someone say, patience. All others are finished, but he's still continuing. He did not stop. He did not stop. They are finished. They've reached, but he said, me too. I will stop. I, will, I mean, I will win. I will complete my race. Look at me. Run your race with patience. No, don't pay attention to who has crossed the line. You run your own race. You go through your own battles. You overcome your own challenges. I am not hearing you talk to me loud enough. It's a competition. It's a contest of speed. And this one, you are not competing against him. You are competing against yourself. Your own obstacles and your own time. When you get there, God will say, okay, you are first, you are second, you are third. No, in this case, so long as you keep on running, so long as you finish, everyone shall be first. I'm not hearing you, somebody. Everyone shall receive the crown of life. If you don't stop running, everyone shall receive the crown of life. I'll stop here for today. I'll stop here. Do you know that even today, practically, just these illustrations I've used, just even today, practically, there's some of you, for can church, you just come over and you pass it on the inside. That's why just go out and in. You have reached. Some of you, you come up far, but you enter in to car like me. You enter in to car, you drive camp. There are some of you right now, you are praying that Father, I pray that go for chemical nose. Or some of you have already begun to plan. If I don't get transport, I will call Sister Binti, I will walk out strong for today. You've already begun to make up your plans. Are you understanding me, some of you? But every single time, remember that the price you have to pay might be different from the price the other person has to pay. And remember this, that God shall reward you. God shall reward every single one. Your race and your path is different. It's different. Run your race. And remember there were times when I go listen to other people giving testimonies. And I go wonder, I say, God, who's them you give me a testimony? God, who's them? I remember those times when I hear people, I sit there and I'm wondering, God, is something wrong with me? Is something wrong with me? Yeah, the other person testimony. We're in the same fellowship. Some, God, what is wrong with me? I never knew the race was different. Are you hearing me, somebody? I never knew the race was different. Run your race. Stand up, everybody.